gotta be on top of now. Stacking paper, leaving my. Shopify holding funds. In this video, I'm going to be telling you and talking to you about Shopify holding your funds back in its escrow accounts. Okay. And it's the holiday season. And obviously, a lot of people out there are going to scour on their stores. They're going to put up all these summer products. They're going to talk to people about them in different ways. And mostly what happens is that the sales of those products increase by a lot okay because obviously it's the summers people will look for baggy clothes people will look for clothes that are comfortable and they'll keep them cold okay so this is what happens in summers but when that happens when the sales actually skyrocket for those Shopify stores, what happens is that there's so much money coming in that Shopify starts holding funds. So I'm going to be talking to you on how we're going to fix that and how we're going to prevent that from happening. Okay. So first of all, what we are going to talk about is the actual cashback prevention. So firstly, the cashback prevention actually happens because normally Shopify's algorithm for its, you know, stores is a normal algorithm. Okay. It's a regular money coming in, money coming out. So let's say in a month you make around, uh, let's say 1500 or $2,000. Okay. That's how much you make in a month. Now in these 1500 or $2,000, you keep getting a steady flow of money coming in, money going out. Now, in the case that in the summers, your sales skyrocket up to five to $10,000. Now, obviously, that's against the actual regular algorithm, okay? You're going way up in sales, okay? Now, in that case, what's going to happen is Shopify will be shocked with the amount of sales coming in and going out. And, you know, with this much amount of sales, Shopify will hold your funds. Okay. That is a thing that happens. And when your funds are holded in, they are processed. Okay. You will have to wait for a long time for those funds to be processed to your account because Shopify might think that they're, you're scamming someone or they're coming from an escrow account, which is, you know, not supposed to be there. So in that case, Shopify will hold your funds, which is fair because obviously if suddenly a huge amount of money just straight up comes into my account, you know, it is pretty shady. So to prevent that, I'm going to be giving you two to three steps. And while you follow these steps, do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. All right. Now, the first thing that you can do is firstly, you can create a new store on the same account and then send all the details from the first store to the second store. Now what that does is it basically gives Shopify a new sense of store. Okay. So if it's a new store, it won't have any regular algorithm and without a regular algorithm, it won't really see any shady activity. So, you know, your new store might just have good sales in it. So that's the first way. So what you can do is you can import Shopify stores easily. Like I had this store, so I created a new store just to import it. And as you can see over here, Shopify already gives you the summer 24 gig up here, which basically means that, okay, that the summer sales have started, you know, the algorithm is getting changed for a lot of stores. So yeah, that's the first thing you can do. Just create a new, new store, import all your data from your first store to the second store. And that should generally fix things for you. And, you know, obviously that is a temporary fix. Okay. That is not a fix that could go permanently. So the next two fixes that I'm going to be showing you are permanent fixes and they're going to help you a lot as well. So the next thing that you can do is you're going to choose a provider for your shipping and for your payments that is Shopify integrated. So first of all, let me bring you over to the app section. Okay. So for example, we're doing drop shipping. Okay. And for drop shipping, you're going to want to go with a drop shipper or a provider that is directly integrated with Shopify. So there's a lot of them. Okay. There's tons of them like Printful, Printify, which is basically print on demand drop shipping. Then we have things like CJ drop shipping. We have Deezers. We have automated DS. We have 
Spocket, we have Zopi. There's so many dropshippers out there that allow you to directly integrate with Shopify. And obviously when you directly integrate it with them, that basically gives you proper providers that are on your Shopify's name. So money coming in from them or going out from them will not cause Shopify to hold funds. It will only hold funds in the case that you're using external providers like AliExpress or Amazon or the other whatnot. So do make sure to directly integrate your Shopify with its very own apps. Okay, then moving on, what you can also do is for your shipping and delivery, obviously we should set shipping and delivery up in the settings section over here in Shopify, but you can also go with a provider like ShipZip, ShipEasy, Shipping Rules, Shippy Pro. You can go with UPS Shipping's official application as well that you can integrate with your Shopify and even Parcel Panel, which is built in specifically for Shopify. So you're gonna go through with these applications, these integrations or these providers that are directly affiliated with your Shopify that will not hold your funds. I don't know why, but it's just a thing. They don't hold your funds in the case that the application is directly affiliated with you it's probably a sense of security that they know that okay the money is coming in from a trusted provider you know in any other case they might hold your funds because if an external provider is not trusted within shopify that will cause issues because they could think it's a scam now moving on even the payments you do most people what they do is they connect their uh credit card debit card mastercard visa etc apple pay google pay so you're not going to want to do that if you don't want them to hold your funds if you want the funds to come through seamlessly do make sure to choose providers like the basic uh you could go with shop pay shop pay is shopify's very own payment provider and shop pay works incredibly as well so i would definitely recommend something like shop pay or you could go with choose a provider and once you go and choose a provider, these are all providers that Shopify trusts. So you can go with these providers as well. Okay. Now these are one link providers and the money can come straight to your account if you use these. And these are, you know, well affiliated with Shopify. So it shouldn't hold your funds ever. Now moving on one final thing that you can do for your funds not to be held on is to make sure to go over to your point of sales and in your point of sales, you're going to make sure that everything is set up accordingly and you've given the proper addresses to your store because most people, what they do is they don't go with the correct point of sale settings. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and make sure your point of sale is proper and good to go. And you've set it up correctly. And with your point of sales, you're also going to make sure that the products that you you know actually go ahead with or the orders that you have fulfilled these are properly gone through as well because sometimes the order fulfillment can cause issues and if there's any issues caused in your order fulfillment and after the fulfillment when the funds come in that could lead to your funds being held okay so make sure whenever you fulfill your order the details you give for the money to be transacted is correct because if the information is you know slightly off from what you've entered in your payment section and settings and that could cause issues okay so do make sure that these are correct and everything is seamless to go so the three things that i told you is first of all create a new shopify store from the same account with the same email and then import it from the first store to the second store what that does is it basically stops holding your funds but that's obviously a temporary fix the next two fixes i gave was choose providers and applications that are directly affiliated or integrated with shopify by that what's going to happen is that it's going to have a trusted provider that's directly affiliated with it and it's not going to hold your funds and the third thing is going through your point of sales orders and products and make sure your information demographics and everything is correct so it does not withheld our funds okay so that is pretty much about it now if you enjoyed this video drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and this is how you're going to fix the pre shopify fund holding issue thank you for watching all the way till the end and i hope you all have an amazing and incredible day goodbye